there's a shortage in many, many industries, and as Americans, we're feeling it. Stores not being open as much, restaurants only half full, as far as only uh, filling half capacity. But we're also feeling it at the cash register, prices going up. The United States of America, it's, it's made by immigrants, you know, it's, it's built by immigrants, and it, it impacts it a lot. Kansas City, the heart of America. Home to a growing and thriving immigrant community. Are you originally from Kansas City? I'm originally from outside of uh, Guadalajara, called a place called Teocaltiche, Jalisco, in Mexico. Uh, when did you come here? We came to the States in uh, 1984. Uh, what, was, what was the reason you and your family came here? Uh, better source of life. I, I'm actually a DACA recipient. We're not here to take jobs. What economic experts say makes this country thrive Estoy cortando cilantro fresco. are the small farms and small businesses utilizing immigrants as employees. I've seen a lot of businesses close up specifically because of lack of labor in Kansas City. A lot of these small businesses are not hurting because of lack of business. They're hurting because they don't have people to maintain the business at a level to be profitable. You know, we used to have about 35, 40 employees, you know, both part-time and full-time. Uh, we're currently down to about 16, 17 employees. But over the past three years, the country has been hurting struggling with a labor shortage to find employees to fill these vacant jobs. Our immigration system has been broken for decades. We have people who want to work, we have jobs that need to be filled. So why does it take so long? Uh, and why, does the, why is the process not efficient enough to suffice those needs? The immigration debate has been reignited because of a surge at the U.S.-Mexico border. In March 2020, President Trump invoked Title 42, a law enacted during the pandemic to prevent the spread of COVID that has kept migrants and would-be asylum seekers out of the country. It sparked a shortfall of immigrants that's worsening widespread labor shortage with more than 10 million jobs remaining unfulfilled, particularly in low-paying industries like hospitality, agriculture, and construction. According to the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, there are 10 million job openings, but only around 6 million unemployed workers. And because of the slowdown in immigration, the U.S. Census estimated a loss of 2 million immigrant workers. How much uh, of your employees um, are usually immigrants? Well, that's a good question. Um, you know, I want to say about 50 percent. A lot of 50 percent are our immigrants. What I have noticed is there's a lot more restaurants out there, a lot more industries that are hiring these people. So the demand for an increase in pay has gone out the roof. It's been hard to, to adapt to the same live life that you had before uh, with having both floors, three floors, the entire restaurant running, to now just kind of like having to minimize, you know, the amount of people that you have, you know, just to, to, to work. We have a problem. The question goes back to what is the plan? And the plan has to be a national plan. Our solution is not going to be solved at the local level. We need both sides of the aisle to say, what is our plan? Because if you look at our, the, the labor shortage we're having, we knew was coming. Now, some solutions are coming into play to try and close this labor gap. The American Farm Bureau Federation, along with 350 other agricultural groups, are calling on the Senate to pass an agricultural reform bill already passed by the House to address the farm labor crisis to add more H-2A visas. And there's been discussion in Congress about creating a pathway to citizenship for dreamers in exchange for $25 billion to strengthen border security. But there's no information on whether that will actually happen. But experts say immigration reform needs to happen to address this issue. Let's find a way so these folks can legally uh, participate and uh, in the American system and the American dream because they're here to contribute. They're not here to take away. But there's more than just closing the labor shortage gap when it comes to immigration. And that's the power of spending they have. That's next.